Hello, I'm John with CodeVA, and this is a tutorial about linking with variables in Twine using the chapbook Twine format. Uh, let's get into it. So first off, uh, <laughs> before we get into this, you got to know a couple of things about Twine. Um, I'm going to be using some variables. So checking out how to what, like what variables are and how to modify them uh, is pretty important. So check that out for sure. Um, and I'm also uh, going to be linking passages together. So if you haven't done that yet, there's uh, there's there's tutorials for these two things in the description. Go check those out before we get into this. So I've set up a little story here, and this will be my sort of vehicle for demonstrating this concept. Let's just step through it. So this is the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Um, if you're not familiar, Goldilocks is a uh, a yeah, ill advised is doing some ill advised uh, snooping in a the house of three bears, uh, and uh, she eats all their porridge and sits in their chairs and then sleeps in their beds. Um, but anyway, so we have Goldilocks walking through the woods. She's going to go inside the cabin, and she has two. In right now in the story, she has two options. She can look for food, and then she can go to the living room. Um, and in the living room, there's nothing. There's nothing there right now. Um, I haven't got to that part of the story yet. I'm just like right in the middle of making this. Um, so what she needs to do first is look for food. We've got porridge, we've got bowls of porridge. Uh, big one is too hot. Medium one is too cold. Um, and then the small one, of course, is just right. Um, and you can eat up all the porridge. Uh, and then we go back to the, the kitchen and then she can go into the living room and find a place to sit. Let's look at the next thing that happens in the story. Now, what I want to change about the story is I don't want the reader to be able to choose the living room before doing the porridge. Um, I want the only option on this page when the reader initially comes to the story is uh, I just I only want the reader to have the look for food option because I only want the reader to be able to go to the living room after Goldilocks eats the porridge. So I'm going to use uh, variables to make this happen, basically. Um, I'm going to modify this story so that this page only has one link, and the direction that link goes to changes. Okay, that's, that's the plan. So to do this, I'm going to need two variables. So I'm going to go to the intro and make a variable section. Um, I will have one variable called kitchen link. I'm going to set that to porridge. And then I'll have another variable called kitchen text. Uh, and I'll set that to look for food. All right, there's my variable section. Kitchen link is porridge, kitchen text is look for food. And the, the way I decided these two values is because I'm going to use those two values here. Let me delete that second option. And we have two, two pieces of text. We have look for food. That's going to be kitchen text. And we have porridge. That's going to be kitchen link. Now, because I have some variables here, kitchen link is porridge, kitchen text is look for food, the computer is going to insert those values into this button. And we're going to have look for food as the label, and then porridge as the link. Now you can see what we've, uh, we have broken our link here. There's no more arrows between porridge and kitchen. And the twine has automatically created this weird passage. I don't need that. We're going to get this scary little, um, like stop sign or whatever. Um, that's just because twine can't tell for sure if there's a passage for this variable. Um, but it, it's okay. We know, we know that, that, that porridge is the place we're going. So this is going to work just fine. Uh, so now when I test the story, that link is going to say, look for food, and it's going to lead to the porridge passage. Let's test that out. Outside. All right, now we have one button and it says look for food. And we're going to go to the porridge. There we go. It's working out great. Now what I want to happen is after uh, Goldilocks visits the small bowl and eats up all the porridge, I want the computer to change that link. When we return here, this look for food still goes back to porridge. I can't uh, I, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this loop between the kitchen and porridge. 
But with variables, I can have the computer change the contents of this link and lead the reader to the next part of the story. Um, now, the question I need to ask myself as a programmer is, when do I want the computer to change the contents of that link? And the answer is, I want the computer to change the contents of that link when the reader encounters this passage. So this is where I'll put my variable modification. Kitchen text should say something like, uh, I wonder, and then the kitchen link will be the name of the link that I want the reader to be led to when they click that button. So that'd be living room. I already have a passage called living room over here, and that's where I want the reader to go after they visit the porridge and then return to the kitchen. So now I have a, a, a story where this link information gets modified. The, uh, the computer will modify these values. And because the computer is using those values here, when after after the computer modifies the values, when the reader returns to this passage, the the, the reader will have a new option. The, the button will change its value and will change the passage it's leading to. All right, let's, I'll test and you can see what I mean. So here we are in the kitchen looking for food, uh, same as it ever was. And you can see over here on the right, we have our variable values. Kitchen link goes to porridge, kitchen text is look for food, and that's what we're going to, that's what's going to happen. When I click the look for food button, the kitchen link is going to bring us to the porridge passage. Let's do it. There we go. Now we have our, our porridge options. We're in that porridge uh, passage here. I click small one. Oh, oh no, I messed, I messed something up. Oh, I, <laughs> I have a, so this is important. When you're using variables, you have to be careful about using uh, apostrophes. Um, I can solve this problem by replacing the single quotes with double quotes. Um, that way that apostrophe doesn't mess up. All right, let's, let's try it again. It's useful to, to see that. Um, all right, uh, let's try testing again. Uh, we'll go super speed, go inside. Here's our look for food. We're back in the porridge. Now I'm going to get to the passage where the computer will modify those values. All right, now we have new values. Kitchen link is living room. Kitchen text is that sentence. And if I go back, now our button has changed. I'll restart so you can kind of see that again. Go inside. Here's our button. Callbox finds herself in an open, airy kitchen, and we have look for food as our option. But if I go here and the computer changes the variable values, when I go back to the kitchen, we're still in an open, airy kitchen. We're still in this passage, but there's a new button with a new link that goes to the living room. And that's how I'll have the reader progress in the story, uh, kind of lock them out of the living room option until they've uh, done all the stuff in the story that they need to in order to get to the next part. Um, that is the essence of linking with variables. You can use variables to change the links in your story. It's a super powerful concept, very, very useful for all sorts of things. Uh, this is just one example. Um, and you know, it's a little it's a little bit tricky. So if you're having trouble with this concept and you need some help, get in the comments of this video. Uh, we would love to help you out. Uh, don't hesitate to do that. Um, there's also uh, links to resources in the description. There's a text version of this tutorial with uh, code examples that you can copy and paste and images, all sorts of other resources, along with some of the other concepts I mentioned in this video. There's links to those uh, tutorials as well. You can check those out. Uh, all that stuff is on the Twine Trail Guide, which you can find at this link. And there's also another link in the description, of course. Um, and with that, that's linking with variables. Good luck and happy coding.